Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. Today's vlog, we travel to Israel and we focus on dairy production. Um, dairy in Jamaica has seen its ups and its downs, and currently we're on the decline in milk production. And however, we plan to boost that. We have seen a lot of new entrants into the sector, which is a good thing. And I believe that if a lot of farmers understand how is it that we can successfully practice dairy production systems, there's a lot of money to be made from milk, especially the value added aspect of it. No doubt one of the limiting factors for farmers getting into dairy production is that initial capital investment. It is a pretty expensive system to start up with. But however, I believe it, you can make back your returns in a very short space time once best practices are used. So today's vlog, we focus on best practices in dairy production. 24, 24 places. It is affi, affi milk. It's very modern. And, and computerized uh, farm. They can see everything here. The cow, if the cow is eating, how much milk she gives, the protein and, and, and uh, fat of the cow. It's Afi Lab, of course. They know if the cow is in heat or not. If the cow is sick, she has less uh, steps. And the neck, the, the, the podometer on the neck, is, is telling the farmer if the, the cow has ruminated or she is in heat stress, she's like this, the computer catch it, and then he knows how to, to do the cooling system. If a lot of cows are, are, are panting, then he's putting more cooling. The cooling is in, in here, in this uh, yard, down here. This is the waiting place for the cow before milking, but also you can see the water sprouts and the ventilators to cool the animals. So they are coming here twice a day for the milking, so they are being very intensively cooled. And the rest of the time, I'll show you, they have a cooling system in the feed bank. It's a very modern, very new cooling system, very efficient. When you have a big farm, to divide into three milking groups. The, the, the first calf cows, the young cows, they are still growing, they have other needs than adult cows. And usually when all the cows together, the old cows are, are uh, suppressing the young uh, cows, don't let them come to eat, you know, and it's uh, no, well known in the literature that when you separate the young cows from the older cows, the young cows will give 7% more milk. So it's nicer to have them and also, also the young the young uh, cows are, are, have a better uh, other health. They have no mastitis, no problem. So it's better to, to milk them first so you, you don't uh, contaminate the milking parlor when they come to milk. And you milk them first and then the older cows. This is the best system. To, to have a group of first calf, second calf, which are also growing animals, and adult cows from three cows. This is the ideal grouping. When they come to their own group after calving and they dry off, they go to the dry off uh, group. This is the cycle. Okay? And as you know, the calf from there, at the age of uh, two, three months, they go to those groups there. And they give them different five different uh, TMR. Uh, young heifers they get in, uh, until between four, until four months they get the same uh, uh, grain that they got there up there. From four to six they get milking cow TMR. You see, this is the TMR that the guy that we saw is selling here. Okay, it's quite long, too long, uh, too long uh, uh, to go. And so the, from 4 to 6 they get milking cow TMR, uh, from 6, 7 to 12 they get 1 third milking cow TMR and 2 third hyper TMR, which is less in protein, it's getting less protein and energy, or uh, more, uh, yeah, less protein and energy, okay? It's 
come from 18% uh, protein and, and uh, 1.7 uh, uh, kilo netto. Now the, they go down to 15, uh, 14%, 1.5 to hyphus. And from 12 months until the dry, until three weeks before calving for the hyphus, they get TMR of 12% protein and 1.3 uh, uh, netto energy. groups of the hyphers and at the age of around around the uh, around he, he's got the the, the, the hyphers that are uh, at the age of 14 14 the months left them in another place while you inseminate the hyphers around 14 months the best the ideal uh, calving age for hyper is two two years, 23 months, 23 months to two years, because it's very expensive to grow hyper. If you don't give milk, so it's not a producing animal. So the model of for the best lifetime productivity is that the hyper should calve at 23 months, two years old. Okay, because if you grow them more. If she's not getting pregnant and she's getting old, it's very costly for, for the farm. So the, the most economical uh, model is to do it that they calve at two years. And our work is to get them pregnant, give them some hormones, you know, and, and uh, if they don't see them in heat, okay? And the group, the uh, shed, and you have a place where the calving, the cow are calving. Calving shed there, where, where the green uh, stuff there, you see? This is the calving. The calf is being born, brought to here, to the nursery, get the colostrum, remember? Yeah. Mm. Four liters, and go to the individual hatches. And after two months, they put them in big hatches, this group of uh, six to eight calves together. And this is before they bring them to a group of 20, so they are stressed immune system go down so this I, I, I told them to put a in between, group for in between the, the, the six group so those are the big hatches and it's very good because a lot of uh, pneumonia problem went down okay here you can see a, a milking group here you can go up a little bit this is the machine the milk machine okay so they know exactly each calf how much he drinks. Mm -hmm. Usually in the old system, they, they give the milk twice a day. Two liters in the morning, two in the evening. Only four liters, it's not enough. Those calves drink for the machine. Whenever they like, they come and they can drink eight liters a day. So in the old system, as I understand it, it was really underfeeding. And you can see the culver, they look very nice with this system. Look, they are really strong, they are less than two months old. They look very strong. Those are hypers, yeah? Ooh. They are in jail. <laughs> they are in jail. And they get, they get a, a, a small cow picture. Okay, together with the male. So they start to develop a rumen. You know, they are, they, they, in the beginning they are one, one stomach animals and they develop rumen. And uh, this. Uh, okay, after 10, 2 weeks they go, they go there to the cages there. The first two weeks. And then they come here and you can see here they have a computerized. Uh, uh, milk bar every calf has a computer tag so register exactly how much they drink it's uh, one uh, half a half a minute uh, water and four minutes uh, ventilators you see the ventilator stop you see the ventilator stop 
Now they are water, the water on them. Half a minute, and after half a minute, stop. And now the ventilator will start. It's really new system. All twenty four. So in the in the bound, the hot the hot system. It's very chilly here. So it's very nice. Those are dry cows, they are here for two months waiting to calve and they calve here in this area and they, they calve, come from here oh, and then they slaughter them. Okay? What? Those are uh, 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 trichofiti, this uh, ringworm. Some kind of uh, mold, pitria, pitria is a mold, uh, pitria. Yeah.